In 1977, Colares Island rested in a world of its own, tucked away from the fast-paced march of modern life. The small Brazilian island was home to quiet shores and a close-knit community bound by familiar routines and nightly gatherings. Yet one autumn evening, something strange pierced the calm. A light in the night sky, brilliant and unnatural, cutting through the dark oceanic expanse. At first, it was a curiosity, an odd light hovering above the water, casting a pale glow onto the waves. But the strange lights grew bolder, appearing not just over the water, but over homes, over roads, flickering over people themselves. And soon, a chilling pattern emerged. This was no distant phenomenon. The lights seemed to watch, to follow, to hunt. Reports spread of beams shining down from the sky, striking people like a curse from above. And the beams did more than startle. Accounts described inexplicable injuries. Locals stumbled away from encounters with burns, mysterious puncture wounds, and debilitating weakness. A few victims fell ill and, in some cases, never recovered. What was this force in the sky? And why did it seem so intent on the islanders, leaving its chilling mark on the people below? This is no ordinary UFO story. It's not just lights in the sky or passing glimpses of strange shapes. Colares Island became a living nightmare, where the fear wasn't only in the imagination. It lingered in the injuries, in the anxious looks of those who had seen the lights and felt their touch. Welcome to the mystery of Colares, where the scars of 1977 still speak.